Welcome to another bite-sized episode of Cream Rises Up. Artificial intelligence and machine learning have unquestionably left a lasting impact on our world and everyday lives. This technology is constantly being applied to eliminate mundane tasks in the workplace. AI and machine learning can also replicate more granular tasks that require precision and deep analysis to complete. Whether such capabilities are a blessing or a curse for society will remain to be seen. Many people, specifically those who work in the software development segment, increasingly believe that the superintelligence of AI and machine learning brings will one day replace place them and create a jobless society heavily reliant on technology. Even though this worry is not without a cause, the true nature of its application in most workplaces isn't as simple as it might seem from the outside. The release of GPT-3 has not done any favors in repressing the fears generated from multitudes of developers and creators out there. GPT-3 or Generative Pre-trained Transformer 3 is a cutting-edge language processing AI model developed by OpenAI. It is capable of generating human-like text and has a wide range of applications, including language translation, language modeling, and generating text for applications such as chatbots. It is one of the largest and most powerful language processing AI models to date, with 175 billion parameters. GPT-3 has already proved its ability to create digital content, and many programmers and software developers are naturally wondering if the technology will have any impact on their job security both now and in the future. Several noteworthy achievements are attributed to the GPT-3. These include a project called Project December. Users were able to conversate directly with AI-themed chatbox, mimicking exact human responses to millions of interactions and stimuli. The Guardian also used GPT-3 to write an article about AI being harmless to humans. The program was supervised by humans and fed a few ideas, which resulted in GPT-3 creating an eight-part, unique essay published by The Guardian. After GPT-3's initial success, Big Tech noticed its enormous potential. This led to Microsoft acquiring the exclusive license, giving it complete access to its source code. While other people and companies are free to use the public use program, Microsoft holds a monopoly over the source code. As part of the evolution of GPT-3, OpenAI recently released some new flavors that incorporates the GPT-3 model. These are the General Purpose DaVinci 3, Code DaVinci 2 specialized for code generation, and ChatGPT specialized for chat-based interaction with it. The latter two are currently free to use as they are being tested. GPT-3 can do a lot more than just serving as a language model. The technology can be used to write almost anything, from blog posts to software code. We can generate or build organic programs that can be used to perform a specific task. GPT-3 relies on two primary scientific concepts to be effective. The first is deep learning. Deep learning is a further concept in machine learning. It's simply the capacity for machines to think and learn like humans. By employing deep learning, machines engage in a phenomenon known as superintelligence, rationalizing and deducing on their own. GPT-3 uses both to sum summarize text and even answer problems. As a result, GPT-3 can produce codes in a wealth of different languages. This can have an undesired impact on the jobs of software developers across the world. Of course, the million dollars question is whether this technology will ultimately make programmers obsolete in the near future. The answer is unlikely, but speculation of the demise of programmers is still resurfacing unfortunately. Legitimate concerns raised by different analysts and experts about the threat posed by artificial intelligence to jobs occupied by hundreds of millions of developers all across the globe. These concerns are not without merit. AI and machine learning have already been rapidly used in the manufacturing industry, having a sizable impact on traditional manufacturing jobs. This technology has also been used in the marketing sector to analyze data and make accurate deductions. It's disingenuous to assume that technology has reduced these jobs in a meaningful way. It's unlikely that GPT-3 will ever take jobs from worthy developers who work on projects that are heavily reliant on human ingenuity and tenacity. In fact, the exact opposite may be true. GPT-3 will ultimately perform all of the work programmers don't want to do. AI will definitely carry the burden of handling laborious tasks such as quality assurance insurance testing. This will eliminate bottlenecks in software production and allow programmers to focus on more creative tasks. As a result, more technology will be created to allow programmers to divert their attention to value-added work. So, the fear of AI will somehow completely replace programmers is little far-fetched. People should start to entertain the idea that both AI and humanity can coexist without cancelling out each other.